it's I'm Tina and this is Ideas and Embellishments. Hi, and we are going to continue on our journey for our beautiful junk journal giveaway, um, which will hopefully won't be too much longer. And what I have done is I have created a little, um, I actually got the idea from Pam at the Paper Outpost, but I, I wanted to make a list of different things that you could put in Excuse my dogs. I apologize for the dog, um, as usual. <laughs> um, different things that you could make to use in in um, in a junk journal, and ways that you can use to decorate them. So I want to go through some of these um, just to, just for fun, just so you can make them together, and um, then we well anyway. And, and and if you're interested in having this cop a list, um, this list. I put it as a freebie in below, so you can download that for free. I think I'm going to go and shut the door for the dog. Hold on, I'm going to shut the door. Okay. So, um, we did pockets, so now we're going to do some tucks and maybe belly bands if I have time. I think I have, because I'm going to do, um, do that. Um, this is, tucks are really easy, because basically they're just little spots to tuck things in um which are kind of very kind of cool so i'm gonna get my scrap box and you can make these as um you know you can make these as nice or as not nice as you want um i typically like to do corner tucks a little bit like just kind of, you know, <laughs> off the seat of your pants kind of thing. Um, and you can do, this is just some scrapbook paper. And here's some uh, some piece of, of uh, freebie that I got from Foil Arts. And this is kind of cool right here. We'll put that there. And then maybe even, I mean, you know, you guys can just do however you want. Let's see, here's a piece of coffee dyed paper, which is kind of awesome. So I'm gonna stick those together with some beautiful, lovely, we have this here. <laughs> Beautiful, lovely art glitter glue. And mostly just because I like the little. Okay. Thank you, cat. Oh. Catastrophe, y'all. Really was. I don't even know. <sighs> he just knocked over all my, my entire box of die cuts he knocked over so all right and now my art glitter glue is going to be oh maybe i should just start this all over <laughs> let me get close to the edge put this down here like that This like this. This like this. And this is so when you have this kind of tuck spot, you have a place to put here, and you have a pocket to put here, and then you glue three sides so you only have a pocket to do that right here. So that's one way to do a tuck spot. Easy, simple, you can decorate it with a stamp, you can decorate it with, um, uh, let's see, I have, I have some die cuts that I embossed, you can do that, you can, I have some of these, some of these, I think maybe, this might be kind of cool to put, the, oh, that would be pretty, let's put that there, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and, So I'm gonna do this here. 
see. Just do like this. Just do like that. And then on the other side, where's my murder scissors? I'm gonna cut it off. We have a pretty little tuck spot. And these are just die cuts that I have painted with watercolors and embossed. They're very, very simple to do. So now that's one and we'll put that in our journal and I will make a few others um, later on. One of the other ways that I really like to use um, is to use a piece of coffee dyed paper. Now our journal I remember is about, let's see, Let's see, about seven inches tall. So we want this, I'm gonna get my um, thing, my cutter. This is something I experimented with. I was trying to mess with some of my coffee dyed paper and I ended up putting some food coloring in it and it kind of went, let's just say, it was kind of, it kind of went, um, kind of got green, but I, you know, I don't, I don't hate it. So, and then you need, I'm going to make this into like an envelope. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out, um, maybe three and a half, maybe three and a half. Gonna fold that over. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue this on two sides. Like so. Okay, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna cut off a little bit, like maybe cut off this much. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to fold this over like this. Make sure there's, yep, there's some room. Mm, yeah, that'll be fine, I think. Okay. So then what we have is this. I'm going to put a thingy in here just so. Just so it's like that. Just so you'll know it's there. Ink around everything. Because you know me and my ink. I love my ink. ink around it. And if you want it to be more like, you know, you can always tear it if you want to. I don't know if this will work. It's not going to work, is it? <laughs> mm. Well, I just think this thing I love it, but it's so much. I think it's a lot of glare on the camera. So, whoops, that's okay. That's okay. Some people like grungy. I kind of like grungy. You don't like grungy? Okay. Right. You don't have to like it. I kind of do. And I'm gonna tear this little piece. Well, now I'm gonna keep that there. Okay. So then what we have is two things to decorate. We can decorate this thing right here. And let's do that. Let's decorate it a little bit. Let's get some, maybe some of these scraps. Or hey, no, I want the little scraps. Little scraps, lots of little scraps. So 
I'm kind of loving this here. It's kind of cool looking. And I kind of like that, don't you? It's kind of pretty. Let me get my gluey book. And my glue. So, there. And I'm going to put this here. This is some, um, just some scrapbook paper. I mean, this is actually some tea dyed paper that I um, did with a video. I probably, I may have said, shown this to you before. Um, that was about pimping up your scraps or something like that. So, um, it was, so if you, I think Louisa, did, a couple of people have done them. You basically just put all your, your they call them, and, and somebody was calling them happy scraps, which I thought that was a cute idea too. Um, I'm going to put something else on here. Let me see, what do I want? I want some, I think I want some, some labels. Labels, labels, I have a bunch of labels. These are all, a lot of these came from Tracy Fox labels. This is kind of cool, I like that. I'm gonna put that here, just cause, just cause I feel like it. So, I don't know y'all, I'm still not 100%. I have um, going for some tests next week. They still don't know what's going on with me. It's kind of scary, but you know. Uh, let's see, I've got a lot of these. I have numbers and um, this is beekeeper, specimen cards, I don't know really kind of like to have something that's long ways like that maybe this here maybe a label right there and what else about um about a no mm, I don't know Sometimes it's so hard to figure stuff out. Oh, that's a nice one. It's a nice ticket. How about a ticket? Let's do a ticket. I like tickets. Okay. Now we have this. And we also have this that we can decorate. Um, which is sort of a whole nother trip, but what we can do is get a piece of, get a nice picture maybe, um, or one of these large cards. I have some large cards and sometimes I have pictures. See, these are like butterflies. That's pretty. Could do that. Uh, maybe some mushrooms. Or um, I think what I will do is come back to that and find another picture that will be appropriate for that. But anyway, what we'll do with this is take, and here's our junk journal, y'all. Here it is. Um, you just find a nice little spot. This looks like one. And you put it here. So we will... All we're going to do is put here. 
in here and along the inside of that fold. And then we're going to put it up, line it up. And like that. And let's see, that didn't make going in there. I felt like didn't feel like it was Make sure like that. So then you have a place to put. You have a tuck spot here. You can put stuff. You can just tuck like um. You no, know, I like safer here. And then just tuck that there. Um, or a tag. You can put a tag there. Um, I need to make sure that's gonna dry. But <coughs> hush, dogs. And then also you have over here, you have something where you can put there. Now you could leave this so you can journal on it or you can decorate that there too. So that's that. Let's put our, where are we gonna, where did we put our tuck spot? Where did I put it? I know we have, oh, here it is. And we'll put this over here. I'll put this over here. I want, I'm gonna do some examples, but I want to pretty much leave this journal kind of plain um, because, you know, the more I think about it, the more I think it would be fun for the person who gets it to do their own thing and work in it themselves. So then you can go to your favorite video, you can pick a page, and you can work on that page um, yourself. So, and that'll be a fun thing to do. Okay, so that's tuck spots. It's two different kinds of tuck spots. So the next thing we're gonna do is a belly band. One of my favorite belly bands of all time is using junk mail envelopes. Love junk mail belly bands. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna cut it off about She is not happy being by herself. Ready? Okay, got that. Now, one of the things I do, and I got this from um, Corey, creating with Corey Danum, creating with scraps. Sometimes you can take your different scraps and cut them into half-inch strips. This is so fun to collage, and it's perfect for these kinds of um, for these kinds of belly belly bands for this type of belly band. So I'm gonna throw this away. I'm gonna get this, and I'm gonna use my scraps. I'm gonna use my glue stick, and I'm just gonna glue these pieces on here. Where's my here? here. Yeah. There's all kinds of them. Different kinds. Let's go up here. Right next to that. Kind of close, but it's kind of cool. And you can use book page. Just wonderful way if you want to use your scraps. Yep. And just continue on finding them.
Okay, so now we have this, and I'm gonna go ahead and trim off the excess. So we have this. Um, so now, what you can do is you can figure out about how long, I'm gonna put these up, put these up. But really, that's a great way to use your scraps. Um, Really, really, really. So, the other thing that you can do is get a piece of, let's see, let's get a piece of cardstock. While we're doing this, we'll get a piece of cardstock. This is, oh, might be too long. It is definitely, all right, it's gonna be too long, so I have to cut it. We have to look at our page. So I'm going to cut it right here. Fine. And keep this for scrap. Make sure this is... Close that. Okay, then we're gonna go, let's say, I can use my, make this about, let's put it, seven and three quarters. I'm gonna get my thing out again. And this probably will be fine. No, this way. Seven three quarters. By let's do two. Two. Maybe two and an eight, something like that. Let's see if it fits. Here might be too big. Looks kind of perfect. Okay, let me do that. Yeah, you guys see where I'm going with this, right? Okay, so we got this. And then we can put something beautiful on here. I'm going to get a piece of, where's that pink I had? Um, I think I have a long enough piece. Long enough piece. Could use my. Let me all think about using this beautiful. Oh, let's do that. This is my beautiful collage fodder, and it's not. There is not a lot of this, y'all, but I think it's absolutely lovely. And I am going to. <laughs> share it with you guys so that 
That is pretty. I think it's pretty. I don't know if you guys like that kind of stuff, but you know, you can always replace it. So another thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a, another piece of this. Find a scrap, it's kind of close. Do this, maybe, this, maybe, maybe this, and make a tab. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and let's ink this. Know what you can use the back and just leave it so people can write on it. Journaling space. Um, so and here we are. That put here. I'm going to take this and I think I'm going to use a glue stick, y'all. This is, this, I made this uh, paper. It was a challenge with Tracy Fox about making background papers. And I probably, whoops, I probably, ugh, I probably, should have made a copy of it because I really love it. It's all nice. It's got sparkles. It's so pretty. And then cut this off. It's so pretty. Pretty. Y'all, I think it's, I think it's pretty. So now take this. Everybody knows it comes out. And I will put this somewhere, maybe right here. And put this in here. And then we'll take this and we'll find another spot, I think. Um, maybe here. And you can either, um, this is, you can use it as a tuck spot if you want to put it here. Um, or you can put it in the middle and use it as a belly band. And let's see, I don't think that page might be too busy. Uh, it's the same kind of thing. This would be good. I think this one is going to be good. So I'm going to put it, and basically you just, if you want it as a belly band, you just do the top and the bottom. Okay, top and the bottom. Okay, now, another way that you can do belly bands is with a, what did I do with it? Snippet roll. Snippet roll. Where'd you go? I had it a minute ago. The cat probably not. The cat probably took it. Y'all want a cat? What did I do with it? I had it here a minute ago. Talk amongst yourselves. Here it is. All right. You can use these. This is snippet roll. And what I did, y'all, this is so easy. And I got this idea from Barbara at 49 Dragonflies. Mask and tape. So you just sit in front of your TV <laughs> and you put you put um, scraps onto masking tape and then you sew down the middle. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna find another one. I think maybe this one will be, let's see. Wait, do we have an, maybe here. Um, so we're gonna get here belly band easy peasy now you can leave it like this 
or wait a minute or if you don't like it like this you can always cut it so that these things are even so I'm gonna cut them cut it so it's a little bit even but maybe more and there are a lot of you guys going no don't cut it yeah well I don't know but cutting it. This is so easy to make and so simple. And again, you just glue in the top and the bottom and you have a place to put stuff. So I'm gonna do that, glue the top and glue the bottom. Then you have another belly band which is kind of cool. What do you do with a belly band? Well, you stick stuff in it like, like, you know, like a thing. Yeah, like that. Um, so anyway, there's another belly band. Easy peasy. So we have two belly types of belly bands and our two um, and tuck spot. So what else can we do? Is there another type of belly band? There is one more type of belly band. And I am not a fan of, but some people might be. So I am going to show you. Um, lace. You can also use lace as a belly band. Lace and fabric. So if you wanted to put a belly band like this with some lace or some fabric, it's perfectly acceptable. Here is a piece of sari silk and a piece of fabric. That might be pretty or you probably want some contrasting um, or you can take this and put it behind some, um, this is really pretty. Okay. This is also very pretty. Nice, lacy belly band, which is very pretty. So you can put that there. I think this would be uh, more like on a busy page like that. Um, that's so, maybe, do I have, let's see, we have. We have a belly band here. Tuck spot. Tuck spot. Tuck spot. Tuck spot. Where do you want to put it? Maybe here. Mm, yeah. <laughs> here on the bubble paper. Let's do that. We can do that. So we have basically. You can do this, and for this, you want to use Faber Tac. You can also decorate these so it doesn't have to be like um, plain. A lot of people will decorate them with like uh, a bird. I think a good thing. <laughs> I hear my, my, hear my, my cats. They are. They are fussing at each other. I think what I'm going to do with that one, because it's such a pretty piece of lace, is get a flower. And I have some flowers here. And I think maybe... Mm, yeah. <laughs> maybe... Um, oh. Nope, nope, nope. I don't know. Maybe just something like that. I think that looks really pretty. So I'll go ahead and put that right there. Just And then whoever gets it can just decorate it away. So I'm gonna put this under, I need a piece of this stuff. Because lace is very, um, yeah, we don't want that to. 
don't want that to go through, so. Okay, that's really very pretty. You can add a cinnamon if you want to, um, or uh, a word. Um, so I will leave that up to you um, when you get your, whoever gets this will be able to do that. So that is that we have done pockets, tucks, and belly bands. So next week we'll work on um, maybe some tags. Uh, or maybe envelope. I would really like to go with envelope flip outs and pockets. I think those are really fun. So we'll do that next week. And thanks for watching. And I will see you later.